This morning in the Modern Parent, everyone wants their child to eat in a healthy manner, but with such a fast-paced lifestyle nowadays for all of us, it seems, it can be extremely difficult to make healthy choices in a pinch. And this morning, we are joined by our friends at the Children's Workshop. Tracy martin Turgeon is here with tips and tricks to help you introduce foods that are good for you and your family. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning. Always great to see you. You as well. Now, before we get into any uh, of the foods you have brought for us here this morning, which I can't wait to sample because I'm famished. <laughs> I want to ask you about the importance of prepping meals because this is something I think a lot of families struggle with, but if you can make that time to prep them, you'll be in great shape, won't you? You make such a really good point. So if you're prepping the meals ahead of time, including your child in the process, your child's going to be more up to try something healthy than grabbing those sweet, sugary snacks or unhealthy food that's in the house. Sure. Keep in like, and don't be like the short order cook in your kitchen. Don't make 12 different dinners. Right. You know, get your child involved and say, here's something for everybody family style at the table mm -hmm. and let the children try to grab some of that so when they see adults or all the children in their family eating it they might just try it absolutely and presentation really is half the battle I've learned right here in the roadshow that we eat first with our eyes so if something is aesthetically pleasing we're gonna be more apt to want to try it and I am extremely taken with the kebab style here what do we need to know about this and this is a, like an easy simple thing so children will come home from school I'm hungry they're gonna go for those chips or ice cream instead of that have some of these kebabs ready they're just great and this turkey with wheat bread and some uh, mozzarella cheese, tomatoes. And your children will have fun pulling them off. Absolutely. And eating them that way. So it's going to give them a little bit of fun things to do with it. I'm going to get in on this right now. So we've got grapes, tomatoes, the uh, mozzarella, mozzarella cheese, and turkey. All roasted right. turkey, roasted maple turkey. Now, this did not take you long to prepare either, did no, it? No, it took me 10 minutes. I actually made this for my daughter for breakfast, this, I mean, for lunch today in her lunchbox. I sent her with different kebabs to have her try different things. And her friends always ask, oh, can your mom make me lunch? Because <laughs> it's different things for them to try, and like it's fun. We're at a dinner party right now. I know, look at this. It's having like... <laughs> and moving on, this bread, fantastic. So this is bread that's really simple to eat. I want you to take a little bite of it and let me All know. right, one meal at a time. <laughs> Tell me what you think of it. All right. So it's in very simple bread What to have make. you put in here? Am I going to pass out? Hopefully you're not allergic. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. he ate it. <laughs> here we go. I think I know what the secret ingredient yeah. is. This has tomatoes in it. Mm -hmm. You can sneak in the tomatoes. I'm allergic. No. I'm not. <laughs> Stop. And you had some fun with it and got it creative. I had some fun. My daughter really helped me prep all this, but I didn't show with the tomatoes. Mm -hmm. I prepped the tomatoes a little bit earlier. You blend them, and I, I pureed them. She helped me prepare all this. I had to go use something. I poured the tomatoes in, mixed it, put it in the oven. She loves this. And you can have some fun with the shapes as well right there. Yeah, so you can make some shapes with these. Um, cookie cutters, have the kids cut it out. You can put Nutella. This is a, a tomato glaze, if maybe for the adults in the family that want a little bit of more adventure. Sure. Um, you can put that on it. And I've got to wash it all down. So this is very simple to make. This is lavender um, lemonade. Okay. Thank so you the very lavender much. lemonade has just water in it, honey, and um, a little bit of lemon. There you go. Lavender, of course, one of my and favorite lavender. scents, if you will. Let me get in on this. Very something. healthy. There's no sugar added to it. Well, that's very good. It's very good. Very refreshing. Yeah. You know what? I'll just be here sampling away. <laughs> But we really shouldn't but be intimidated. But there's no sugary, it's not sugary. The kids can come home and drink that. There are creative ways we can have fun. Correct. That's what it's all about. You guys are always a wealth of knowledge, a plethora of good advice. Tracy, thank you very much. Thank I you. think I'm like good for meals for a couple of days here. There you this. go. Thank you. Enjoy. So much for sharing. If you guys would like to review any of the great tips that Tracy shared right here today to get recipes or to review any of the great advice from our friends at the Children's Workshop, visit us at roadshow.com and click on the Modern Parent channel.